Welcome to today's journey through the distant past where we will uncover the story of the Clovis people and their first known archaeological site, one that changed the way we understand the early peopling of the Americas. The Clovis culture is a critical piece of North America's ancient puzzle. Known for their distinctive stone tools and widespread presence across North America, the Clovis people have long been central to discussions about the origins of indigenous Americans. But it was the discovery of the first archaeological site associated with the Clovis culture that truly opened a window into their world, forever altering our understanding of prehistory here in America. Today, we're going to explore the origins of the Clovis people, the discovery of their first site, and the lasting implications this has had on archaeological research. So who were the Clovis people? The Clovis people, named after the town of Clovis, New Mexico, of which they were discovered, are considered one of the earliest known cultures to inhabit North America. Dating back to around 13,000 years ago, they are most famously associated with their characteristic tools, which are large fluted spear points that were used for hunting large megafauna, including the mammoths and the mastodons that roamed these lands. These tools, known as Clovis points, were finely crafted from stone and flint, and they demonstrated impressive skill in toolmaking. The spear points were fluted or chipped in a specific way to make them easier to attach to spear shafts, allowing them for more efficient hunting. The craftsmanship found in these artifacts suggests that Clovis people were not just survivalists, but skilled artisans, highly adapted to their environment. But while the Clovis culture is well known for these tools, the question of where they came from and how they fit into the broader history of human migration to the Americas has remained a topic of much debate. And that's where the discovery of their first archaeological site becomes crucial. In the 1920s, a discovery in Clovis, New Mexico would, of course, change the course of archaeology in the Americas. But before we go there, let's take a step back. While Clovis points were found in various parts of North America, it wasn't until the early 20th century that they were scientifically recognized as a distinct cultural marker. The site we're talking about is the Blackwater Draw Site, located just outside of Clovis, New Mexico. In 1929, archaeologist Lloyd Wilford and his team began excavations at Blackwater Draw, and what they uncovered would prove to be monumental. They unearthed a series of stone tools, including the Clovis Point, alongside the remains of extinct megafauna, including mammoth bones. This was the first undeniable evidence that humans had been living in North America thousands of years before the first recorded European explorers. The combination of human-made tools and the remains of these massive creatures suggested that the Clovis people were hunting and coexisting with some of the last great Ice Age animals, an extraordinary revelation for people at the time. Also at the time, this discovery was revolutionary because it firmly placed that the Clovis people were at the heart of the American past, and it ignited debates about when humans first arrived in the Americas. The initial consensus was that the Clovis culture represented the first human presence in North America, arriving through the Bering Land Bridge from Asia around uh, fifteen to 16,000 years ago, and then eventually arriving in the site 13,000 years ago. The Blackwater Draw site wasn't just a singular discovery of stone tools and animal bones. The, strat the stratigraphy or layers of earth at the site helped establish the chron chronology of the Clovis culture, and excavations revealed that the tools and the mammoth remains were found in the same layer of sediment, providing clear evidence that these ancient humans had lived alongside these extinct animals. Further supporting the idea that the Clovis culture was indeed a major part of early human migration to North America. More importantly, Blackwater Draw allowed researchers to trace the distinct nature of Clovis technology and its widespread influence. Tools like the Clovis Point have been found from Alaska to the southern tip of South America, proving that the Clovis people were not just isolated groups, but part of a complex, widespread culture. There's even a theory called the Seleucian Hypothesis, which considers that these Clovis points come from an even earlier European group known as the Seleucian culture. But this is in of its video. This is for a video in and of itself. 
These discoveries confirm that early humans were already in North America far earlier than many had initially believed at the time. The site's significance didn't end with the discovery of the Clovis points. Evidence of early hunting techniques such as the butchering of mammoths and the use of fire for processing animal fat and meat gave us valuable insight into how these early people survived and adapted to their environment. For decades after the discovery of Blackwater Drawl, the Clovis First theory dominated the conversation about the peopling of Americas. According to this theory, the Clovis people were the first to enter the Americas, arriving roughly 13,000 years ago, a timeline that matched the end of the last Ice Age. The quote-unquote Clovis First theory held that these people came through the Bering Land Bridge, which connected Siberia to Alaska and spread southward through the continent. However, as the years passed and new evidence has emerged, the Clovis First theory has since then been challenged. Archaeologists began to find other ancient sites, sites with evidence of human habitation that predated Clovis, such as the Monte Verde site in Chile, which is estimated to be around 14,500 years old, although I've heard much older, all the way up to roughly 30,000 years old from ancient fire pits. These discoveries, among others, suggested that the peopling of the Americas might have occurred much earlier than the Clovis first model has allowed. This has led to a shift in archaeological thinking, moving away from the idea that the Clovis people were the first and opening the door for other theories regarding the timing and routes of human migration into the Americas. Today, while Clovis culture is still considered one of the earliest known in North America, it is now seen as a part of a broader and more complex pic picture of human settlement. So what does the discovery of the first archaeological site of the Clovis people mean for us today? Beyond the significant insight into the tools, lifestyle, and environment of these ancient peoples, the Blackwater Draw site has helped shape the ongoing search for answers about early history of human habitation in the Americas. It sparked decades of further research and excavation not only in New Mexico, but all across North America. The methods of archaeology developed at sites like Blackwater Draw continue to influence how researchers dig into the past today, uncovering hidden truths about humanity's origins. Even more importantly, the legacy of the Clovis people remains vital to understanding the history of indigenous American cultures. While we now know that they were not the first to settle the Americas, they are still a key part of the story of how human populations spread across this vast land. And as we continue to uncover new sites like Buttermilk Creek in Texas and Hagerman in Idaho, our understanding of these ancient peoples only grows. The Clovis people's story may not be the definitive start to the history of humanity in the Americas, but it is un undeniably a critical chapter within it. Thank you for listening to this video and joining me on this fascinating journey into the past. Make sure to stay tuned for more stories about history and as we continue to explore the layers of human history beneath the surface of the earth. This has been Doogie from Doogie's Earthworks, and for now, I'm out of here. I love you.